Hey everybody, it is Billy at Be Tough Man. Video number three on the reef. This is it, man. I gotta take a break after this and get to some other stuff. But I do wanna do this video because um, I do go to some forum boards and I saw this and I wanna be able to make this video and just say, hey, look at this video, right? And what are we talking about? We're talking about ick, ick, say it all together. Ick, right? Marine ick. And you know what? This might actually work for freshwater. I'm not sure, but um, I've been doing this thing for a lot of years and I'll give you some advice on what works in my experience for ick. All right, man, let's get into it. Let's get real here. Let's do some real talk. Now, I have done this thing for over 25 years. I think longer, but I just don't want to calculate it. I think I've done, I guarantee it's over 25 years. I've been doing it since they were bleaching corals back in the day, dude. Okay, so do your math. I don't know how long ago that was, a long time ago. But I've done it all when it comes to it. Okay, I, I bought the UV sterilizers. I have bought all the stuff to soak foods in. I've done temperature fluctuations. I've done massive water changes and sand and gravel cleanouts. I've done it all, dude. I've done quarantines. I've taken apart reef tanks and just to get one fish out and put them in some copper water. I've done it all, trust me. Anything you see, I've done it. But there is one thing that I've done that I'm gonna to get to in a second that I've had the best luck with. And a lot of people, so we're gonna get people on here, I'm just telling you right now, People are gonna come on here and say, Billy, you are full of S-H-I-T, man. That's what they're gonna say. And some people won't though. I mean, you know, I saw that there are some products actually using what I'm gonna tell you. And, uh, but before we talk about that, I wanna talk about, you know, disease, just because, you know, fish aren't that much different than people. I mean, we look different, of course, and they swim better than we do. But there is something that's similar, and that is when your immune system is compromised, you are at the mercy of your diseases within your body. You know, we all have diseases that are floating around our body that our immune system spends all day fighting off, right? We never see them, right? There's things all around this world that are trying to wipe us out. By the way, real quick, remember I told you Fiji leather to come back? Look, look at that dude, this is like day four. It didn't look very good for a couple of days. All right, back to my thing. So we go, we talk about disease, right? And when a fish gets stressed out, stops eating, um, all of a sudden its immune system gets compromised. And that's when it becomes, you know, vulner vulnerable, is that a word right? To different diseases, including it, right? So we have to understand that in a lot of cases, fish can just beat ick just by keeping them fed and not stressing the fish out, okay? I've had more fish beat them just with that than anything, right? And when you're doing huge water changes and you're pulling the tanks apart and you're doing crazy things to your tank, that stresses your fish out. So think about just doing the best you can, okay? Now I will say this too, there are some times, just like any disease, that a fish is too far gone. It doesn't matter what you do, okay? You're not gonna be able to cure that fish of ick if they're too far gone, right? So we're talking about how to do this thing, what can I use here that will help me out you know, will give me the best shot, okay? Now, a lot of people will scoff at what I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna get it out of here real quick. And you can get this anywhere at, well, any supermarket has it, okay? And like I said, I have had, I've done everything, and I have had this work the best, and that is ground ginger. Ground ginger right here, man. It comes, I'm gonna see if I can open this, man. Hang on one second here. I'm gonna open it with my armpit. Okay, it basically is a powder form right here, okay? It's 100% reef safe, okay? I mean, when I say 100%, I mean, you see what I have in here, right? Got sea anemones, that's weird. I got sea anemones, um, we got these, we got whatever you see here, that's what I got. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put some in here in a second. I don't have it, but I'm just gonna show you just that, so you know that it doesn't. I always keep this on hand. Now. You may say like, okay, why, do, why does ginger work? Well, ginger has been used for parasites on humans even for a long time. It's used for stomach parasites. And I'm not saying that ick is the same thing on a fish it is, it is in a, as parasites are in humans. But I'm just telling you that there are properties within ginger that are proven, that have been used for medical use 
for parasites in human, right? And of course, it is a parasite that gets on your fish and attacks their gills eventually. So, um, yeah, so ginger does have a track, right? I mean, it's not some hocus pocus stuff. Um, I basically, it's not rocket science. This whole bottle right here was like seven bucks at Albertsons, right? But you can definitely smell the ginger when you do it. But I'm just gonna show you how you would apply this. And you really can't, like I've heavily dosed this stuff in the past and it really doesn't do any, I mean, it's just a, it's ginger, man. It's not, it's not any kind of chemical, it's just ginger. And I'll just show you how I do it. I gotta put the cap down here. Okay, let's see if I can do this, man. Oh, this is gonna be tough. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna take, I take a pinch just like that in my fingers and I'm just gonna put it in here and I smash it so it kind of stays in clumps. It's no big deal. But see, you can see that clown. He just went up there and ate it. See, like, see this guy? Like a lot of times they'll go up. They don't have to eat it though because it kind of dissolves into a bunch of pieces. But it doesn't hurt your tank at all. Like you can see, nothing here, closing up, nothing doing anything weird. I mean, these things may think it's food, but see, it doesn't, it doesn't affect the tank negative in any way. Not that I've ever experienced it. Like the sea enemies don't care. Nobody cares, right? So this is kind of a green way, look at that, Jimmy. A green way, non-chemical way to fight it. Now, um, it does, I, I would do a couple doses, like what I just showed you, I would do a couple of those a day. Um, just put it in there, because I'm telling you, man, it ain't worth, like all the other stuff is you're, it's probably worse dude, on the fish. So this is like non-evasive way. You ain't gonna, like if I had this reef, there ain't, dude, wh whoever goes in, I'm telling you, there's only one way in, dude. Unless I can get you out, I am not pulling this whole reef apart to get someone out, okay? So I ain't pulling a reef apart to try to get this guy, in this guy or this guy. Can you imagine me trying to get this guy right here, dude? Out of there? Oh my God, it'd be impossible. So yeah, man, so that's what I use. Um, and then, you can turn up the temperature a little bit. It kind of, uh, some people, you know, it's kind of funny. That kind of makes the cycle go faster. But there it is, man. Ginger works in my experience. And I saw they actually include it now. There's some products now where they're putting ginger and garlic in. So I knew back in the day, I used to say it. A lot of people on Reef Central used to question me on it. And then some people would go on there and say they tried it and it actually worked and they were stoked. But now... Some of the big product makers are putting it in there, but you really don't need to get those products. You just go down to Albertsons, get your own, and there you go, man. That is my tip on it, and I think it might work on fresh water, because, I, I mean, I don't know, maybe not, but it might, it might, so there you go. My two cents, there's your reef video. There's reef video number three in three days. All right, dude, I am done with reef videos for just a little bit. I'll come back with some more stuff. I actually, I, I have some really cool stuff on reef that I'll be doing, dude, so if you do like this video, if you like my reef stuff, Subscribe because I'll come back and I trust me, I got some cool connections coming up that I think I'm gonna have some really neat stuff in the future. So there you go. All right, this is lazy, lazy reef keeping, dude, right here, fighting it.